And the Dallas Regional Chamber taking a new approach to elections, helping businesses get their employees to the polls. Early voting ends this Friday, and we want to know if you've cast a ballot yet. Grab your phone and go to the WFAA app and let us know. Have you voted? You can also tell us if you plan to vote early or if you're going to wait until Election Day to cast your ballot. What about you? Have you voted? I, I have voted. Have you? I have voted. I have voted as well. We're going to ask our guests the same thing. That's where we begin this half hour with uh, Dallas Regional Chambers, uh, Matt Garcia, Senior Vice President over there. Good to see you, Matt. Have you voted, Matt? I have not yet. I'm oh, going. no. What are you talking about? <laughs> are you kidding me? We typically uh, wait to vote on Election Day. Ah, okay. So you, you guys at the, at the Chamber have created this voter engagement toolkit. And you've heard from businesses saying, hey, we need some kind of help to get our voters to the polls. How did all this come about? Sure, this, this originated out of our Public Policy Advisory Council. Um, we did not see anything like this in the market. A, a, a digital toolkit that employers could then in turn send to the employees. And what's included in there is a messaging timeline, social media content, as well as uh, email templates that companies can customize as they see fit and the push out to employees. Okay, so the regional chamber is a nonpartisan group. So how difficult is it to walk that fine line? You're telling people to go vote, you're not telling them who to vote for. Correct, we are a nonpartisan organization. Um, we're about engagement, we're, we're not about outcomes. We wanna see more people to the polls and we feel this toolkit is a great resource for employers in the region. We represent about 700 companies in the region and that's representative of about 600,000 employees here in the Dallas region. And how successful has this been so far? Because you guys have never done this before. I couldn't find anybody else nationwide who's really done this. Have you guys had a, a decent feedback? Good response? Great response. We've had several hundred downloads of the digital cool toolkit as already. Um, as and and well when you say several hundred downloads, you're talking about a business that might employ thousands of people, right? Correct. So that's, it's not just a couple of hundred here. It, it's, you know, multiplies. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've also seen a lot of local civic organizations, as well as some chambers across the U.S. that have utilized this tool as well. Wow. What are they saying about it? Are they saying that they are seeing people actually go vote and take part in the process? I think that's still too early to tell. Um, it, you know, this was part informational is phase one. I think as, as we develop this tool and refine it further, um, we'll be able to have more metrics that we can use. And to explain to, to our viewers what this is, I mean, it, this is nonpartisan, as Teresa mentioned, but you explain what the governor does, what the land commissioner mm -hmm. does, what each of these roles physically do, which is important. Yeah. Here's my question, though. What happens in 2024? This, this election, as we heard from Jessica Huzman, might not have the biggest turnout, like a presidential election, but I presume that you guys want to get back into this space in two years. Absolutely. We're going to continue in the space in, in the spring as well when we have municipal and, and local school board races there, and definitely in 2024. Why is it important? Why is it important that the DRC fill this role and encourage businesses to encourage employees to vote? The, the DRC strongly believes in civic engagement, and, and there's no greater way to engage civically than to exercise your right to vote. And, and are people physically responding to this, do you think? Because the early voting numbers, obviously, we haven't seen a, a big uptick in this. But do you think the, the, the companies can get their employees out to the polls? That's what we're hoping. Um, you know, we, we have seen early voting numbers down. Um, there's still three, three and a half days left of early voting as well as Election Day. So we'll, we'll see what that outcome looks like on November 8th. Yeah. All right, Matt, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Crossing our fingers that people right. show up and take part. It's, it's incredibly important. Indeed it is.